I woke up deep underground when I was eight months pregnant. Ah, help! Somebody! But there was no way out of that coffin. Suddenly... No one will hear you, sweetie. Better save your oxygen. <gasps> Who are you? Why do you need me? You'll find out soon enough. Just stressed for now. The last thing I remembered before being kidnapped was... Night. My house. Me standing next to some suitcases. And crying. <laughs> then... Complete darkness. A ray of sunshine interrupted my memories. Time for breakfast, sweetie. <gasps> no! I won't eat! What if you want to poison me? <laughs> if I really wished to get rid of you, I would have done it yesterday. Mm. Just eat. Don't make me hungry. I wasn't going to obey him. Hence why the masked man decided to punish me. Ah, please stop! I give up! <laughs> the food turned out to be from a local store. That meant... <gasps> I was being kept somewhere near my house. All of a sudden, the small window opened again. Yet, instead of more punishment, the kidnapper put on classical music. At that moment, memories floated back to me with a renewed intensity. That night, I had a big fight with my boyfriend. It's over between us. I didn't sign up to take care of this brat. Get out. <gasps> it so happened that Kurt had already found my replacement. You'll pay for everything. I'll prove that you're the father in court. <laughs> we'll see about that, Laura. at the time. If you don't want the baby, we can disappear forever. You missed the mark there, sweetie. First of all, I'm not Kurt. <gasps> Secondly, I do want your baby. Then, instead of turning to me, the kidnapper addressed my boyfriend. Is there something wrong, Kurt? Yes. Her classical music is getting on my babe's nerves. <laughs> Are you talking about Laura? <laughs> Haven't seen her in a while. Tell me I said hi. You won't see Laura ever again. That curl girl cheated on me and ran away. Nevertheless, I already got someone to take her place. Oh, sorry to hear that, bro. I'll keep it down. My hopes shattered. Kurt couldn't care less about me being gone. In desperation, I tried breaking the walls. Sweetheart, the doors are very thick. Don't overexert yourself and take care of the baby. I did all of this for the child's sake. After those words, I came up with a plan. Hmm. The following week felt like the movie Groundhog Day. So, I secretly began training and biding my time. Hey, you've gone silent. I haven't been feeling well for the past two days. I wasn't sure, but... Ouch! Uh, looks like I'm going into labor! The window abruptly slammed shut. Then, the monster started digging me up. He was getting closer and closer. Once the coffin slit swung open, 
I saw his face. Mr. Williams? It was our rich and quiet neighbor. Why me? Nothing personal. You were the easiest friend, sweetheart. I need your baby for the elixir. Eternal health. Get up. I can't. My hands and feet are numb from lying down for so long. Mr. Williams had to pull me out of the pit himself. As soon as he let his guard down, I struck him. Deceitful creature! You'll deeply regret this! He could get out of the hall at any given moment. So I hid in the house. There was a map on the wall with all the pregnant women in our neighborhood. I was supposed to be his first victim, but definitely not the last. Hello? 911, I need help. 26 Gray Street. Suddenly, someone's shadow slipped by me. Fortunately, it was a police officer. No sound came from the pit as Mr. Williams was lying doomed on the ground. What did you do to me? I can't move. Karma swiftly put everything in its place. Mr. Williams wanted eternal health, but ended up with a lifelong sentence, as well as full body paralysis. The whole story went viral. And Kurt walked right back into my life. I've been looking for the baby since day one. Couldn't even eat or drink. My hero is in her stomach. <gasps> That's why she was saved. However, I told the truth, and Kurt became the entire country's laughingstock. We don't even suspect how strong we truly are until life presents us with a real challenge.